higher you are. In this chapter 1.8, the British sociologists, we will start reading. At this point of British sociologists collected field based data and then coined these findings into a collective picture. The emphasis was on statistical presentation with little or no theorizing. However, the need for theorizing was clearly felt by many sociologists. The statically oriented sociologists were also extremely close to the government and therefore failed to see any flow in the overall political and economic systems. So the reflection and the action what we are which which are the most important early British sociologists give their theories in brief that we have to write down. Now there was another basic characteristic in British sociology and this was the concern for reforming individuals and then keeping them to fulfill the larger goals of society. Although these sociologists saw the flaws in the social system of the time, they were nevertheless still interested in solving problems by laying the blame on individual behavior and attitudes. In following this approach, the sociologists showed a high degree of respect to the society in which they were members. This was clearly a conservative stand, yet it was felt to be necessary to ward off the org the ogre of Marxian socialism. There were some paradoxes in the situations that the British sociologists found themselves in. Thus, even problems such as poverty were not held to have systematic basics. Instead, it was the individuals themselves alone or in groups who were blamed for their poverty. This is somewhat circular argument and put the individuals at the center for any kind of social ills or problems. Individuals problems of any types were analyzed in, in including factors such as ignorance, crime, alcoholism. These were all aspects of the individual, especially alcoholism which was regarded yet again as an individual condition or pathology and not in any way concerned to the whole of society. As can be seen, here was once again the extreme position. However, it was a matter of time that social structure became more prominent especially in the theories of social evolution. This was forwarded by Herbert Spencer in 1820 to 1903. Spencer was a relative liberal and believed that the state should not interfere with the market. That is, Spencer believed in laissez faire. This indicated that he was not an advocate of social reform but wanted social dynamics to be without external interventions. Next we will read Spencer's evolutionism. <coughs> 